In my opinion, not enough can be said about the Bandai um, D Arts Mega Man set. So let's talk about them. And Bluefin Tamashi Nations has been localizing these. And I bought a, a few of them Japanese. I bought a few of them um, English. So let's just look at where things started. And uh, I'll tell you what, the first time, the first time I saw this, um, I believe it was either on Proto Dude's Rockman Corner when he reported that these were coming out. I flipped. I mean, we had been waiting for a really good um, model kit type Mega Man figure, really good posable Mega Man figure to come out for a long time. I mean, the, the old Bandai model kits from the Mega Man 8 um, and like pre Mega Man X5 uh, sets, they were nice. They'd kind of fall apart, they were tough to pose. Um, but these are these are fantastic. I'm keeping them all in the box so I can only show you so much. I'm sure someone out there has um, all of them out of the box and you can check them out. But um, this comes with uh, like a three shot grouping of power shots, buster shots, and then a mega buster shot. And it comes with a stand, I believe, so you can pose in. And um, three face parts are included. Mad, normal, um, I guess the, the second one's kind of grumpy. Third one's shooting, angry, rah. So there you go. Um, that's what he looks like. You can pose him in a lot of different ways. A lot of people have been really comical with these online, which is fantastic. Uh, this is the Japanese version. You can tell by a rock man on the, on the top there, but a lot of it's still in uh, English. Head is equipped with broad range eye camera, ultra sensitive voice recognition system, voice generation system, made by Mo Mokuo in Incorporated. There's a lot of English on the box that you can't really make out, which is funny. Chest is equipped with accumulative energy generator, micro fusion fuel tank, central joint controlling system. Arms equipped with X Buster. Rockbuster Mark 17, energy amplifier and variable weapon system. What makes Rockman unique? Legs are equipped with gyroscopic stabilization system. Energy acceleration system is optional. And there's a that's funny. There's a mention of a Capcom copyright in the little specs here in the graphics. Interior skeleton has reactive armor skeleton which reduces damage by 93%. Body skin is lightweight titanium X alloy. A lot of you will um, remember that from um, the specs from the original Mega Man as he's being booted up by Dr. Kane. Nice that they include some of that stuff. Uh, it's just a really nice representation of the character. A lot of love was put into this. Um, and it's just a great sculpt and all that jazz. So let's move on to... Um, now they did a zero. I only collected one zero. Uh, I, did, I did the classic, more classic version with the square shoulder pads. And, and this is the zero I'm more familiar with because I played the heck out of Mega Man X. But uh, he also comes with three faces that kind of mirror how X is thinking. I like the one where he's looking off to the side and he's kind of grumpy. His teeth are bared. But he comes with his Z-Saber. A few of them, actually. And uh, he also has a buster arm. And um, like a swinging, you can see that on the box, a swinging Z-Saber sword. Um, this is, again, this is the Type 2. This is the American version because it says Mega Man X. So I had to wait quite a while for this to come out. 
I didn't um, collect the Mega Man, the first Mega Man X Zero Type One, which I think is just called the just Zero. I don't think they uh, had like a first version or something on the box, but it has the rounded shoulder pads, and I may pick that up eventually, but I didn't want to pick it up right away. These are about forty to sixty a piece, depending on where you buy. Um, so keep that in mind. These are very expensive high-end action figures, very posable, very nice. Next up, we saw Mega Man X in the full armor. And um, I was kind of disappointed to find out, when, when these were first shown, it looked like he was going to be packaged in a Dr. Light capsule, where he got his parts in the game. And I thought that idea was just awesome, and and uh, it's a shame they haven't come out with the capsule to display some of these figures in because that is so slick. I, I mean, I I really was kind of disappointed all along that no one had done any kind of capsule um, accessory or whatever. But here's his faces this time, and I did get the Japanese version of this. I could not wait. This one was really slick and just cool. You can take off. Uh, all the parts and put them on the regular Mega Man and kind of uh, accessorize them up so um, that's really cool that you can do that so you can kind of build them up to just like he does in the game you can see him in his various aspects like uh, when he gets his shoulder blade or shoulder pads and, and his boots and his buster and his helmet and everything Really, really cool stuff. So I really like that one. That was a must buy. And then uh, Vile came out, and he is kind of a special edition figure, I think. Um, this, I got the American version again, Mega Man X. And uh, he—it was weird because I—he came in Japanese packaging. There's Japanese on the box. And uh, some nice shots of them there. The brooding with his drink. Was that ever in a game? <laughs> That's just funny. So it says Mega Man X on the box. It's, it's, uh, there's, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, this is actually Japanese packaging, and they put a Mega Man X sticker on it. Um, you can just kind of see that, that, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a sticker over the Rockman X. So this is, I don't think this was released in in America, it just, maybe they just put the sticker on it. Um, it was harder to get a hold of, he was more expensive. He came in special packaging. Um, just a slick, real slick sculpt. He's got the mounted um, gun on his shoulders, classic look. And he has the um, blast shot right there that comes out of that. And then he had these knee guns. He's just a really cool character. He only shows up kind of as sidebars in the in the games, but he was always a really cool design. You don't really know his story. He's a really mysterious character. Um, so that was really cool. All we just all we know is he doesn't like X and that him and X have a history. So that is Vile. He's called Vava MK2X, which I was kind of expecting. Oh, that's a sticker too. So it says Vile right there. Um, it would say Vava MK2X, or whatever, uh, on there. Looking to see if there's any information. It's funny because there's weird text in the background here. It's interesting. So they just, you know, at every point they, they covered it over with a sticker to include the English bits. So, this is Bandai Collector's Shop. The last one, and I just got this a couple days ago, is the classic Mega Man. And I'm so thrilled that they came out with some classic characters because these really needed an updated sculpt. And I'd love that um, they came out with a lot more characters. Proto Man. Uh, bass and treble. 
also known as Forte and Gospel. They are coming out soon. We, they have been announced. So we have Mega Man with Rush here. And that is the best Rush I think I've seen. That is a great Rush. All the Rushes have issues. We'll talk about that later. But And this is the um, Tamashi Nations packaging. You can see that over there. They're distributors of Bandai. Interesting to note that the back, again, has Japanese text, so they're not localizing the packaging. They're just placing the stickers where they need to. Um, the front of this box, those aren't stickers. Those are actually, so they updated the front of it, um, but they did not, what does that say? They didn't localize the whole box. They didn't translate it. So, um, I don't care how I get it, just as long as I get my Mega Man figures. They also have a metal, metal figure up there. I love those guys. And again, Rush is really cool. And they have some extra shots for Mega Man. Excellent posing available. And he has some, uh, he has busters for each hand. And he has some, uh, they don't show the other head pieces, but you do get some other head pieces. Some facial faces, faces. So you can go online and look at those if you'd like to know what those are. But I am excited for this set. This set is selling very well. Obviously, for Bandai, they keep coming out with stuff. Very excited for the very first um, treble or gospel figure that is Bass's dog or Forte's dog, however you want to. Um, it. I do have a, a, a Forte, I mean a Gospel slash um, <clears throat> unpainted figure. Um, but that, I don't know, it's really nice to have opposable um, painted figures that, that just look great. I mean these, these are straight from the art. These look fantastic. Um, also, we've seen a, uh, we've gotten teased quite a bit at Comic Cons and other events with a giant Sigma figure, and uh, long-time watchers will know that I really want that to come out. And then uh, we've also seen Ride Armor and a couple of other things. Um, I think uh, there's there was a bunch of different colored Mega Mans and then Proto Man and stuff. So they're they're amping up this line. It's a great line of figures, and um, <clears throat> just really excited for it. So let's. Uh, support Bandai and uh, Tamashi Nations Bluefin for uh, to getting these to us, and let's applaud them for that. And uh, keep doing what you do, because that is awesome stuff, and I will keep buying these as long as they keep coming. So, thank you, and thanks for watching.